Good day! Welcome back to another episode on Pi Tips and Tricks, where we deal with the Raspbian OS on the Raspberry Pi. Today, we're going to be discussing one of the most overlooked Raspberry Pi apps on the system here, on the Raspberry Pi OS, that I think there is. And that is the bookshelf. So the first thing I want you to do is go down to the help here. If you do not see bookshelf here, I want you to open up terminal. And then I want you to type sudo apt get install rp bookshelf. I've got it installed, so we don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to go ahead, go start down to help bookshelf. And it's going to bring up all the Raspberry Pi issues. Well, I should say not all of them. We're missing quite a few issues here. If I scroll down to the bottom, come on. So it brings us down to issue 31. Now, this is a lot of reading. We'll get you basically up to date in everything in the world. Um, you have tons of books here, books that I've paid for, uh, for paperback versions which is nice because now I can actually bring up the digital version as well and apply and be able to search certain things. And hey, there's some books here I haven't even read yet. So that's even better. And then there's all the Hackspace magazines here. You've got 41 issues of that. You got Wireframe here. There, there shouldn't be anything that you couldn't find in these that you'd want to learn about. So if you you want to learn something, chances are they're in here. Just look at the cover and find out what the content is and you'll be able to bring it up. So one thing I did notice that is, yes, we only have 31, uh, issue 31 and up. So what if I wanted to um, read, let's say the first issue of the Magpie magazine. So if I load up that website here, um, this isn't the site I want. So what I want is Magpie. So what I want to search is just Magpie Magazine. And I'm going to bring up this page here. And this is the raspberrypi.org Magpie link here. From here, I'll be able to download the PDF. But I don't want issue 103. So what I can do is I can go here or I could have gone to that last page as well and just changed one of the numbers or two of the numbers, I should say. I'm going to take the zero and the three out. I'm going to hit enter here. And this is going to bring up the very first Raspberry Pi magazine from May of 2012. And then I can download it from here. And then I can go, no, take me to the PDF. If you, and then I can open it up. Close that. And now I can read the very first raspberrypi.org, uh, well, the Magpie magazine. And this is pretty cool because it kind of gives you that, that first little look into Raspberry Pi that uh, definitely has shown how much it's grown over the years. Um, a lot of cool articles in this um, the first issue as well. You're going to see some cool uh, uh, alpha boards here that you can see here. Um, and then there's other prototype boards and yeah, the beta boards and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of cool stuff on here and uh, follows that same concept of what it does today many years later of kind of that information we all want to see. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. So anyways, I'm going to close that. So the bookshelf, if you haven't, get it, start reading it. Uh, you'll even see some of my projects in some of them. You have to search really, really good, but uh, they are there. So let's say we want to download issue 103 of the Magpie uh, month of making. So we can just right click, download an open item, or we can just double click on it 
it's automatically going to open up the browser and there we go. We can now read issue 103 and uh, away we go. With that being said, once you've downloaded it, you're good to download whatever other ones you want and you can just open it or delete the item right from the menu here. So if you're done with it and you don't need it anymore, just go ahead and delete it. And that's it. That is probably one of my more favorite little things that it's kind of hiding in there that is just a slew of information that you can't go wrong with. So if you have any questions or comments or any tips and tricks that you'd like to see featured on here, post in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we have more tips and tricks coming soon. So thank you for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. And we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?